Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. So I was just playing a session today and my HUD wasn't working because of some update or something. So I'm going to be playing a HUD list today. So I thought I'd record, record a video and uh, dedicate the time or the energy that I would do to interpreting HUD stats to giving you guys some commentary in, uh, into what I'm thinking while I'm playing. So this is uh, this is my main stake here. Uh, Two hundred zoom. So bottom right, we cold call multi way, and I bet turn half pot ish to basically protect my equity. I would expect most overpairs to get bet on the flop. So I do think my my hand is 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 good often on the turn, but that said, it definitely requires some protection here. Uh, now I'm I'm gonna try and show down my hand. Uh, versus ace high, but I'm expecting to lose quite often to like pocket ace or something. Um, he will have some 5x as well, 5-6 suited, uh, ace 5 suited. Um, so this is a spot where I just don't think anyone ever has a bluff here. He would have to check back flop with a hand like ace 10 of clubs and then decide to bluff it on the river in a spot where it has some reasonable shadow value here. Uh, or he'd have to make like a very, very like zero equity float here on, on the turn in order to actually get here with a bluff. So yeah, this is just a spot where uh, population never bluffs here, so I would just fold, uh, pretty much foldable check raise my entire range in this spot. Here with the uh, blockers to king x and backdoor not flush draw, I'm going to see that here. I'll barrel most turns with this, uh, with this can, aside from any 8, 9, 10. And now I'm going to put this into my chat folding range. On this river, I mean, I think I'm always good, but I really struggle to see what I'm going to get called by. So I'm going to put in a very uh, small kind of blocking bet. Hope that he makes a southern call with a hand like Jack Jack or pocket nines. So here I think I iso bet flop check back turn. I'm gonna go for a river bet, but going small. Try and force him or get him to call with any type of 6x through pocket 10s. This one is gonna be called 4 bet range pretty much always, but it's it's less of an attractive spot because this guy is like a super nit. But I mean this is just such a, such a sexy hand and one that I don't like folding. So this is a spot where my range is like super strong here. Probably only like 2% of hands in that spot. Um, H3 I will sometimes float here, but this guy is quite aggressive, so my equity realization will be will be lower than most other guys, so I'm gonna fold the H3. Um now I'm gonna start bombing here because my range comes more polarized, as does it on the King Queen hand. Going with a high frequency strategy on the King 37 versus Big Blind because Big Blind's range is much wider, but then on the turn, on, on the double flush return, my range becomes, um, my, my, my double barrel range becomes a lot more polarized, so I will scale up sizing there with value, with full range basically. And same for this spot, uh, I bet I bet flop because his, explosively his check, checking range is too weak up in this spot, um, so I, I will bet a lot of like, middling type hands for protection, but on the turn I need to polarize my range, so bigger sizing um, allows me to do so, and also bluff more of my 4-5, five, five, 5 6 8 9 9 10 and club type hands. Uh, I'm not going to overbet here, but I'm going to scale up sizing versus a fun player. River is really not good. And I think I have to check back here this, on this river. Too much of my range improved, I think. All the 8, 9, 9, 10 improved 10x of clubs. I don't know. I think I'm going to check back, but it, it feels like I can shove here for some players. I, I would shove Ace Jack, not just because I saw he had King Jack there, but because Ace Jack is, is, is stronger and beats more of his check calling range, but 
Yeah, I would shove that on blanks, but on the 10, I think it's a little bit thin. He's gonna have Jack-10 there always, and Tang-10 always, and then he still has the occasional combo of Ace-Ace and Jack-Jack. Realize that we've been going for almost an hour, so I'll wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the session, um, feel free to ask any questions or post any comments you have below. Yep, I'll see you guys later, good luck at the tables, peace.